Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tube U Channel. Today, I will tell you how to make a cookie cutter using Fusion 360. In this video, you will learn how to get free images from the internet, how to calibrate the size of the image to fit your cookie cutter, how to trace the image and make a cookie cutter. Keep watching. Let's start. First. You can find a lot of images or photos on the internet. If you don't want to have a copyright problem, you can select the Creative Commons license here. A Creative Commons CC license is one of the several public copyright licenses that enable the free distribution of an otherwise copyrighted work. So it is safe to use them even in the commercialized case. In the pictures. You can select the one that you want to use for the cookie cutter. For example, this cute pet dog in my case. Save the picture to your computer. Now open Fusion 360. In the Insert menu, select the canvas. Select the picture that you have downloaded. Select the plane to put the figure in the plane. Usually, the top plane. Here you can adjust some parameters that make your picture easy to use, such as opacity. Can adjust the transparency of the image. You can use the middle scroll to adjust the locking size of the image. These icons can flip the image horizontally or vertically. Click OK to finish the insertion. Now first calibrate the image size to fit your cookie cutter. Right-click the image name and select Calibrate. You will need two points to exactly calibrate the size of the image. For example, I select 70 mm as the dog size. It will automatically calibrate all other parts. Now we start to create a sketch. Select the same plane as the picture. Select one method to fit the image outside shape. Usually, use a spin line to fit the image. At any time, you can push Enter button to finish one spine line curve. Make the whole spine line curve a closed figure. You can also adjust the curve more using the adjusted points. Also, you can add more points or delete points later. Make a good-looking outside shape of the picture. Hide the dog figure. Now, click Modify menu and select the Offset option, or just press O button. To select the offset option, select the outside shape of the spine line. Click the flip option can change the direction of the offset direction. We select the outside and change the offset position. This is the thickness of the cookie cutter. I select two millimeter for the test. Select the original outside shape and use the offset option again. This time, I use five millimeter offset. To the outside of the shape for the test. This is the base size of the cookie cutter offset. This time it is three millimeter in the outside direction. Click Finish Sketch to finish the sketch. Select inside the area as the cookie cutter and extrude the area. I use twenty millimeter as the distance for the test. It is the height of the cookie cutter. Select a new body and click OK to finish the extrude action. If you cannot see the sketch now, then shoot the sketch again. Select the outside area and extrude it. I use three millimeter for the test. Use join operation and select the same direction for it. Click OK to finish the extrude. Hide the sketch. You can see the cookie cutter is almost finished, but this cookie cutter is just the outside shape of the dog figure. We want to make it more beautiful. Show the dog picture again. 
Select the sketch again and then right click the mouse. Select and edit the sketch. This time we make an inside shape of the dog figure. Select the inside of the spy line. Press O to select the offset option. Select inside direction and 1mm for the test. Make another close the spy line as the dog picture. Such as face, eyes, nose, mouth, etc. You can also add an offset option to these areas to make them more beautiful. Click Finish Sketch to finish. Now hide the dog picture again. Select inside the area to make the cookie cutter cover. The height of the cover I use 3mm for the test. Make the face, eyes, nose, mouth, etc. I use 5mm height for the test. Combine them together. Now the inside press is finished. Before we print them, we can test the cookie cutter. Create a large box to cover all the area as doll. The box height I use 10mm for the test. Now, move the cutter side to the bottom of the box surface. Move the press inside the surface to connect the top of the box. Use combine action and select the cut option. Select the box as target body. Select the cutter and press as tool bodies. Check the keep tools since we don't want to lose the cutter and press after cutting. Click OK to finish the operation. Now hide the cutter and press. We can see the dawn showed a beautiful pet blog picture. Export the cutter and press as STL format. 3D print them. Use a normal down for the test. They look very nice. We have made an original cookie cutter now. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel and click the small bell. So you will not miss an update. Tell me your channel is waiting for you.